Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at Scissor Snake Family, uploaded by Rick Suica. Now, this model comes in six different, better yet, five different variants, and you can preview each one of them by downloading the file and opening up the STL. For this video, we will be downloading the Scissor Snake, the regular version, but these settings that I'm going to show you will work for any and all versions of the Scissor Snake. First things first, let's look at the notes and see if the developer left any advice for how to print this. If we go down here, he says print at 100% scale and use 30 to 50% infill with a layer height of 0.2 and no supports. So we're going to do just that. So after you read all those notes and took that into consideration, you go to things files, select whichever you want and download it. Like I said, we're going to do the top one. We're going to show in folder. You're going to grab your STL file and throw it into Cura and give it a few seconds to load in. Once it's fully loaded in, you can hold the right click to move your camera around and look at the model. So first, let's click on profile up here, click on this little tab, and we're going to select a layer height of 0.2 millimeters. If any pop-up comes up, click on discard changes because we don't want to use any of the old profile settings that you've been using for this model because we're going to use custom settings. For the infill, we're going to change it to 30%. Now this can be printed at 20%, but the developer suggests 30%. And he also says you can go up to 50, but I highly recommend you stay at a lower infill amount because the heavier it gets, the harder it is to open and close. So let's just stay at 30%. For the supports, we'll click here and make sure this box is unchecked because we do not want any supports. And finally, under build pit adhesion, we're going to make sure that this is set to skirt because we don't want to brim or raft for this model as we don't need it. And once we're done with all that, the next thing to do is to click on the blue slice button and give it a few seconds to slice up. Once the model is done slicing, you will be given a time estimate as well as an estimated filament usage. Now click on preview print to take a look at the model and make sure nothing weird or funky is going on. And everything looks pretty good to me, so save the file and send it over to your printer. Once you're done printing, one of two things is going to happen. Number one, your model is going to be completely perfect and it's going to expand easily. Or number two, your model may be a little bit stuck. If it is stuck, you should pull on both sides of the model until it's freed up, just like I did in the video. And even after doing that, if the model's still a little stiff, you're going to have to add some WD-40. Spray your choice of lubricant within the hinges of the model, and that's going to make your model 30 times smoother. I guarantee it. Make sure you spray on every single hinge, even the ones in the middle. After lubricating, make sure you play with the model for a few minutes such that the lube actually slides inside all of the hinge. You'll notice now that the model is 10 times smoother. 